Hey everybody, I'm Don with Alphamoto, here today to talk to you a little bit about Alphamoto's carburetor and fuel injection synchronization set. This is a really nice gauge set, very high quality, includes all of your adapters. Different motorcycles, Yamaha, Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, require some different fittings, um, different connections on these gauges. One of the great things about this gauge is the quality for one is superior to about anything else I've seen and they're factory calibrated. So when you open up your box and take a look, you'll notice each needle is within that little square box. That means they're ready to go. You don't have to take them apart, no adjustments or anything else. Today we're gonna to show you uh, briefly how to connect all this, set it up, and make the adjustments on a motorcycle. We're gonna be demonstrating on this Honda Magna. This is a V4. So we're gonna be utilizing all four of the gauges at once. Now, if we're working with a, a two-cylinder or a three-cylinder motorcycle, just as effective, we only use two or three of these gauges out of the four. But this set is compatible with all the major manufacturers in the metric industry. So, we're going to get set up here, get these kind of hanging and then up, set up to go, and uh, we'll give you a demonstration on how to connect them and how to synchronize the carburetors on your motorcycle. Let's start with the Honda Magna here and the, the basics of what we need to do to connect the carburetor sync gauges. Now, keep in mind, please, that every motorcycle is a little bit different, and for specifics, you should really refer to a service manual to see exactly how to reach the, the parts down here you need to reach. In this particular case with this Honda, all we've had to do is remove the fuel tank and seat, and I've uh, disconnected this bracket here so we can easily access uh, the ports. They're actually intake ports where we're going to connect these gauges and the screws, the adjustment screws for synchronizing the carburetors themselves. So before we make the connections, let me just see if I can show you. If you could take a peek down in here, you'll see this screw right here where the end of my screwdriver is. Okay, we've got one of those on each cylinder. There's another one also right back here, basic same location, okay? This is a four cylinder motorcycle, so we've got four of them, one on each cylinder. What we're gonna do is remove those screws, okay? And going back to your Alphamoto kit here, we're gonna use one of the adapters best suited for this particular model. Now, any one of them could work, just depends on the model you're working on and, you know, access to that port. Some motorcycles do not have these screw type ports. They have a built in spigot on the carburetor, could be on the carburetor body somewhere or also on the intake, but it's a spigot that already exists. So in that case, we don't need these, okay? So next we'll get hooked up here and uh, we'll synchronize some carburetors. So now that we've removed the plugs from the ports on the intakes, we're ready to install our adapters. Back to our kit, we've got some different adapters, as you can see, some long, some short. Something else to keep in mind here, just like I'd said earlier, depending on the model, we have a different thread pitch, and they are indicated by a different color O-ring on these adapters. So, Hondas, in this particular case, use the finer thread pitch. Uh, for example, a Yamaha would use a, a heavier thread pitch there. So. We're going to install our tubes, once again, mainly for access, whether you need a longer one or a shorter one. We're going up into our port here and just going to gently, now remember, this is all aluminum and brass. We don't need to be gorilla strong with this stuff, so we just gently thread that in like so. And you want it just snug enough so the O-ring is seated so we don't have any type of air leaks, okay? Now on this particular model, like I'd said earlier, we have one for each cylinder. This particular model on one cylinder already has a spigot. It's already built in. And that's because they use this, they have a vacuum line attached here that works the fuel, part of the fuel system, okay? We're not concerned about this, it can set aside, but we have a spigot here built in. So in actuality, we're using three of the Alpha Moto adapters and one is currently part of the motorcycle. So as you can see, we've done the same on the other side. 
We're all set to connect our gauges and start the synchronization process. Okay, before we fire up um, on this particular model, because we had to remove the factory gas tank, we have to install a remote fuel cell here. So this is just a small bottle with some gasoline in it. It has an on-off valve and a correct connection, and we are using the clamp. Uh, in this particular instance, we want to make sure we're dealing with safety first. We do not want a fire, we do not want a fuel spill, et cetera, et cetera. So our remote fuel is set up, it's turned on. We're gonna start the motorcycle, take a look at what we got. All right, the first thing you're gonna notice with any synchronization gauge, there's a lot of flutter and fluctuation. That's what these small adjustment valves are for here. Because motorcycles engines have different levels of vacuum, these have to be adjustable. So what we want to do is go in here and try to eliminate as much of this fluctuation as possible by turning these dials. And if you watch, slowly turn them, your fluctuation comes down. Now you don't want to completely eliminate the fluctuation because now it's shut. Now we're not getting any kind of reading. So we want to make get it so it's opened up and then bring it in just so she settles down just nice. So it's readable. And we're gonna go down the line and do the same with each one. We've got, that's just about right. You're seeing a slight amount of fluctuation that's telling you that you've got a good vacuum reading. Okay, come over to the third one. We're just gonna keep going until we get that needle the slow way down, get them all about the same. At this point, we're not concerned where the needle is. We just want to eliminate the fluctuation. And that's pretty good. Next thing we're looking for is for all of these needles to be reading the exact same vacuum, okay? Now we've got three that are all almost right on the money, very close. But our fourth one over here, a little bit off. So this is where we need to make our adjustment. The important thing to remember here is which cylinder is this hose connected to so we can adjust the proper screw. If we start turning on the wrong screws, we're going to mess all of them up. So we know this is the right front cylinder that's what I'm connected to. So we're going to go in and make our adjustment with our special tool and let's see how close we can get it. Got our special tool right here. This can be a little tricky. You need to kind of keep an eye on the gauge and work your way in here to the adjusters. Some adjusters are harder to get to than others. See what's going on. Take a look at our gauge. We're headed in the right direction here. Right about. A little bit more. All right, looks like we've got all four right where they need to be. Right at about eight or nine foot-pounds of vacuum. Inches of vacuum, I'm sorry. Nice smooth idle, and that's it. Okay, now that we've got our carburetors all synchronized on our Honda Magna here, I hope everybody enjoyed the demonstration and explanation of the Alphamoto carb sync tool. And uh, just to reiterate, earlier I had mentioned about a special tool to make the actual adjustments. Alphamoto does have that tool, they sell it. It's not always necessary, depending once again on the model you're working on. Sometimes a simple screwdriver uh, is adequate, but this tool, very effective for some of the more difficult uh, adjusters that reaches up inside. This is also used for adjusting the mixture screws on these carburetors. Multi-tool, very high quality. 
along with our synchronization setup here. Super nice kit, very high quality, heavy duty, all the pieces and parts you need for most any model. Alpha Moto, carb synchronization tool.